Hello. Oh, hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope everyone's all right. I'll, I'll speak up a little bit as I can, but I'm losing my voice. Yeah, well, because we just had Mania. Yeah, we hope you guys watched WrestleMania. Hope you enjoyed it. That's the main point of this podcast today. Yeah, it's mainly Mania stuff. We do have other bits to talk about, but it's mainly Mania. Yeah. So, are, are we going to tell them the news or yeah. go with Yeah, well, we've kind of got, like, news based on this podcast and kind of based on my channel as well. I'm looking to hopefully kind of spruce things up, give it a revamp. I might potentially be changing the name to Nerd, from Nerdbytes, I don't know yet. But one of the things we're doing a revamp in is we're finishing up this podcast here where we talk about loads of different things and we're going to specifically be talking about wrestling for each pay-per-view that comes so each month when a pay-per-view is over we'll do an hour long at the, at the absolute max yeah. of reviewing that pay-per-view so it's going to be specifically wrestling pe- podcast from now on yeah we'll thought it'll be probably uh, uh, that's very professional <laughs> turn so, your phone off yeah okay um, <laughs> sorry people just as soon as we start recording um, I'll, I'll turn my phone off it will be mainly WWE based but you know if we find anything relevant whether it be Backstage stuff, yeah. uh, Ring of Honor, Lucha Underground. Yeah, if there's anything that pops up, we'll mention it on the podcast, but mainly it's going to be talking about the, the, the pay-per-view that had just gone, Yeah, whether it be good or bad. It'll um, be a very WWE-based thing. Yeah, and we have we do have a name for it as well. Yes, which, do you want to reveal that now? Yeah, or? go for it. Yeah, I'll put the, if you, you listen to this and you have interest in the wrestling thing, or just want to tell your friends, <laughs> um, <laughs> it'll be called the Angle Slam podcast. I could explain why, but sorry, just hearing neighbours banging in there. Sorry, uh, it's just going well for yeah, the last podcast, yeah, isn't it? That wasn't my Phone fault. Bangs on the wall. That wasn't. That was the neighbours' fault. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, we will call Angle Slam. Uh, we could explain why, but I'd like to keep it a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be it from then. Yeah, so cool let's way. go to the cheerful deaths. Yeah, uh, uh, like yeah. dedications. Um, um, it kind of literally happened like two days after we recorded. The yeah, last it did. One, yeah, it? it was literally. Actually, I think it may have been the next day. Possibly, yeah, both on the same day, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, what, arguably, or maybe unarguably, the smartest man in the world passed away, Stephen Hawking. Mm. Um, again, I'm, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. I can't, you can't, I suppose you can call yourself a fan, it, or maybe an admirer, I suppose is the best best thing to put it. Mm. And, you know, you can't help but admire a guy with that kind of intelligence and to get through what he did with his disability... Yeah, yeah, there, there is a, a, a an element of admiration in there, obviously. Mm. So, yeah, it's yeah I, 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 yeah. I will say it was a great. It's a great loss. It to the is world. a great loss. I it, think it is. If yeah. you're losing that kind of mind, yeah, very but, intelligent man. But I think uh, I can't remember if I said to you or not. There's going to be a list on the internet somewhere of the smartest people in the world. You know, every second is now celebrating his ass off because <laughs> <laughs> he's now the smartest man in the world. Um, but yeah, honey, honey, get in here. This yeah. what just happened. It, it's happened. It's happened, and I can walk as well. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he seemed like a very, um, hu- you know, had a great sense of humour as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big Bang Theory, and Simpsons, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that 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 was a not a tragedy as such, but, but it's uh, still quite shocking. Well, yeah, yeah, those. It's not like they go. Oh, he's with with his condition. You can't really say. Oh, he's looking ill because. Well, yeah, he's looked ill for the last fifty years. So yeah, there was no kind of like looks like it's the end of his days. It happened. It was just. Oh, by the way, he's happened. gone. So, yeah. And then about twelve hours later, Jim Bowen died. Yes. From bullseye. From bullseye. Uh, he, he fed a lot of Peter K's material. Yeah. So, <laughs> didn't write it. Speed boat. Yeah, don't, don't, I'm not, don't get me confused. He didn't write Peter K's material. <laughs> he was just... Uh, he was just a part of Peter K's life growing up, so he just injected it into his comedy. Oh, well, yeah, he was... I wouldn't it was say. always like a classic British tele- television like game show, wasn't it, really? Yeah, when I think of very early childhood of mine... Yeah, but, that and catchphrase, I think. Yeah, well, I used to have nightmares about Bully from Bullseye, so uh, there's... It was quite a creepy character. Yeah. I, I feel like they should have bring it back. I don't know who they had get to present it. Well, really, they did, but... didn't they? They had um, Dave Spikey do it for a while, uh, and, it, and it just didn't work. It was, pretty, it was funny because of the time... Mm. And Jim Bowen was just mental. So, yeah, it, it's, it's one of them, and I don't think there's been any more. Do we think no, we mentioned Ken Dodd in the last yeah, one? Yeah, we did, yeah. So, that's, that's it. Yeah, we'll tribute to the last one to them. Yes. So, so there you go. So we'll carry on. 
Yeah, the uh, a few days after the last podcast as well, the next Deadpool trailer came out. The one that's called yeah, the it's... trailer. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, it's it's still not showing any signs of it being disappointment. No, it looks no, like it's pretty not. excellent. Um, yes, it's one of uh, we've obviously discussed. We discuss Marvel movies a lot, and off podcast we will always discuss when we're going to see it, if we're going to see it. Uh, the last few have kind of been maybe at some point or I'll wait. But Deadpool 2, I can guarantee I'll be going to the cinema as soon as I can to see it. Fair enough. I'm a huge fan of Deadpool. The first one, just for the opening credits. Just, yeah, 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 because yeah. Ju- just to have the jokes go straight into the opening credits of not even telling you the cast are going, British bad guy, some douche, yeah. that kind of thing. A CGI this, character. Yeah, it was like, this film is going to be excellent. I'll just yeah. give it a big F you to the fourth wall there. Yeah, we do get a kind of rough idea of the story for this one. It seems like it's something to do with this kid and yeah. Cable's come for the kid and Deadpool's trying to stop Cable and that's more or less all we know but I don't really need to know too much more yeah. too much. but still that, I mean, it gives me a rough idea of what's going on I, I'd love one of the inside jokes to be you just never find out why he wants the kid <laughs> yeah. he just like, they go like so why do you want the kid He's like, does it matter I'm the bad guy Oh, oh, fair enough. enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the end as well, when he's saying, it's like, why, it's like we probably won't even make a third. You know, why, yeah. why make a third? You, we stop at two, you killed it. Yeah. You know? And I laughed and I thought, it wouldn't surprise me if Ryan Reynolds, about a year after this film, went into the office and said, right, let's make Deadpool 3, but let's make it shit on purpose. No. <laughs> like, unbe- and like, the fourth wall break, it through the film constantly going, it's shit, right? I know, I made it that way. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Just, just, it wouldn't surprise me. Just, or really just an F you, just be a prequel of... Just the whole film's everything before he became Deadpool. So just a normal just a guy. Romance. Yeah, just <laughs> seeing why he became a bit of a criminal. And you know, yeah, Deadpool wasn't even at once. He's like, no, it's pretty cool, <laughs> wasn't it? Just a, a, a very, uh, what's the, not fourth wall, but a, um, uh, I, 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 I don't know. Obvious kick in the teeth. Yeah, no, it's, it's very, you remember that thing Cards Against Humanity did? They did yeah. the bull, bullshit expansion pack and people bought it, about 25 quid, and it was just a, a genuine lump of bullshit in a box. Yeah. It was just a very big, F you, but in a comedic way. To be honest, there'd be a lot of people if Dead, if he did do that with a third Deadpool that would not find it funny. I, I, I think I would. I think my ass off because because you know to have Ryan the Reynolds, balls to yeah, do it. To have the balls to do it, and knowing Ryan Reynolds as well as you know him as a as a person, and that he is Deadpool. He's this even when he's not in the suit, he is. Yeah. So you think, yeah, he's doing this on purpose. Yeah. No, full well, he's doing it on purpose. Or just uh, like right, and just stuff like actions. It, it would actually probably wouldn't surprise me if he does it in this film that there's a huge action scene with explosions and there's like very important lines of dialogue but he does you know you can have audio commentary on DVDs now so the cable's about to reveal why he wants the kid just as he starts his speech you hear Ryan Reynolds like, oh, in this scene if you look in the background here um, and, and the, the whole time cables are behind yeah, him talking yeah. he's, telling, he's, he's telling the story <laughs> you see like Ryan Reynolds going like no kind of face <laughs> like, how could you be he's like in this scene uh, the actor to your left there he actually was my barber before we started this <laughs> Uh, but his brother died in an unfortunate train accident but um, let's carry on with the show okay. and then he just I, goes, I can't believe you just revealed that <laughs> <laughs> and you never find out oh come on that'd be amazing so if you haven't done it in this film there's Do a definitely the free thing yeah. but yeah it looks like it's going to be fun um, something that came out yesterday and I <coughs> excuse me have yet to review it so it should be coming out later on is the next solo trailer did you see it I, I did see it um, it gave a lot more, well, the only problem I have with the se- they've done three now, haven't they? I think this is the third one. I yeah. can't remember. The second one, it just seemed more of the same with the stuff of the first one, just maybe extended bits. This yeah. actually gave you a little bit more idea of the story. Yeah, um, it, seems be, it's, uh, it seems to be. And I've, I've said this in my review. We've obviously I'm yet to put it up. That it seems very kind of like cowboy western type feel. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm getting. I suppose I'm getting good vibes off Lando. Uh, he looks like he could do, you know, the, the character some credit, uh, mm. pulling off the young version. The only thing I thought, well, what you're trying to do here is that when he's kind of hanging um, hanging on to Chewie, and then like that big kind of train thing, where it looks like Chewie's life's in danger, it's like, well, we know he's going to live. I said the exact same thing on mine. I said, it kind of takes away from the drama, because like, well, of course he's going to live. Yeah, unless Chewie. unless he's got another twin called Chewie, which just is stupid. Chewie Senior. Yeah, so don't, <laughs> don't do that. That'd be awful. Um... I do and I don't like that the Valkyrie looks slightly different. I get the... I, that, I, well, I, I know why it does. 
What, the interior? Or Everything. What? Well, I know the interior I was fine with is like the relatively new ship and all that. Plus, you've got to think of who's the owner before Solo. It was Lando. Yeah, yeah. Think, about, think about him. He, he's, very, he's very... You know what I mean? He, he's, he's got people looking at him and he wants people to see him in a certain way. If his ship's a mess, they're not going to see him as respectful. Well, he's got a completely spotless ship and it... Car- it, it yeah, it's it part of his persona. It, yeah, it almost had that best bin feel inside the ship. Mm. But with the, I noticed in one of the scenes on um, the uh, the hull of it. Obviously, the sh- the one we know, it's kind of got the cockpit on the side, and uh, I don't really know what kind of. It's not really a letter shape, kind of a, a U shape kind of thing going on with the two. The uh, two points. Yeah. Yeah. This looked like it didn't have much of a, a deep U bit. It doesn't at all. So I was thinking, well, why would Han take that away or is it going to be damaged or... I, I found out, you know, again, I've said this in the review, but I found out what it is. It's because um, they released it in some like Lego toy stuff and action mm. stuff and everything. Basically, what that front is is detachable because that's the cargo unit. Oh. It detaches away and then it becomes the Falcon that we know and love. So I think that plays into him dropping off some Something. shipments because I remember Jabba saying something to him or was it Greedo saying something to him? He had to drop something off without being caught by the Empire. So he probably would so get his cargo that's unit what back. It is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That would explain it. I mean, I, I was going to say... Which I'm fine with. Do you think... Because I don't think I saw any, any indication in the trailer. Do you think Jabba will make an appearance in there? Because they have a history. I'd like it. Yeah. Just a quick cameo would be more than enough. Yeah, just... Uh, just, just to kind of... But Set them up, maybe. Well, he's obviously going to team up with Woody Housen's character. Yeah, he seems like the um, kind of mentor type. So after that, I think, once he agrees to join the team, Woody should go, right, let's go and see the boss. Mm. And it to be Jabba will be yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe a, again, just a, a brief, almost not cameo part of just the hint of Greedo and Hans hate for each other. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, and maybe something to do with Fett. I think that's what a lot of people are hoping for, just yeah, a, a Boba Fett reference. Yeah, a reference, at least. Um, but it looks like it's going to be what they advertise. Not a, 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 a Star Wars movie that fits into the whole kind of side yeah, thing. A good standalone Star yeah. Wars movie. I'm, I'm hoping it is. I'm a little bit apprehensive more than I have been with anything else in Star Wars. Yeah. But... Again, this Star Wars, I'm still looking forward to regardless. We, we, yeah, there's that, and there's how, with how perfect to well, what most people say Rogue One was, it's one thing to live up to any kind of the Star Wars episode films, but with how good Rogue One was as well, it's like, right, can they you know, catch, catch a light in the bottle again? Mm-hmm. But So it's a lot of pressure, especially from, in this film, it's not new characters, it's younger versions that's of characters the, that's, that's, the, that's the pressure the, that's the pressure yeah, yeah. definitely you've got to live up to it yeah so it, it, uh, yeah, I, I'm always going open minded I'm surprised it's come out in the summer I yeah. thought it was always going to be Christmas yeah same here. so but, yeah whatever they have it for for whatever reason yeah. we'll see what happens uh, the next thing as well the Black Panther oh what, the, uh, the film or the review or no the film is, uh, they've said that it's officially overtaken Titanic as in the US box office oh, as, okay. as in the biggest uh, uh, box office of all time and Titanic was third, I think. Nice. I think Avatar's number one. Oh. And number two, I think, is a Star Wars film, but I can't remember which one it is. Okay. So it's taken over Titanic, which is a pretty big... Well, it'll be there until Infinity War comes out, when it already... Because that's already yeah. made over 200 uh, million just in pre-sales. Yeah, but well, there, well, there you go, so... But yeah, that's still a pretty impressive thing, considering it was... You know what I mean? It's, it a, it's a standalone film, you know what I mean? It's not... One of the main characters, and it's done that well. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, in previous podcasts, I've had my pros and cons of the thing, but you know, whenever a movie does well in in a, a genre we're interested in, I'm happy for them. So yeah, that's cool. And um, this one, I, I don't know what your opinion is. I haven't spoke to you about this yet, and personally, I don't think they should be doing it. There's rumours going around at the moment that they might be getting Meryl Streep to portray Leia yeah, in episode nine. This. Um, I don't agree with it. Personally, she's a fantastic actress. Yeah, I will never ever deny that. But it's disrespectful to Carrie. It's, it's uh, not necessary, in my opinion. I don't. I don't know if it's disrespectful as such. It's. It depends on the script a lot because I. Uh, but I'm going. This is just going from a personal standpoint here. If I was in a film of that caliber, and uh, something would happen to me, and it turned out I could sit on the the clouds of heaven and looked down upon everyone and they went, right, well, we'll just can the film or, you know, forget that character. 
I wouldn't mind someone else stepping into my shoes that I thought could uh, deliver. Um, again, I don't know if it, I'm pretty sure Meryl could pull it off, but it, I, I think it would just seem wrong, too weird. There's something just off about it. Yeah, because I, I, to my knowledge, not one Star Wars film yet has had uh, a different actor step in to take the uh, same character, apart no. from obviously Anakin was older and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. that. Yeah, that's different. Um, yeah, no, that hasn't happened. No, well, a, a, an example of why it usually don't work is uh, the Mummy films. Uh, the, uh, Rachel Weisz used to play yeah. the, the mum. She didn't want to do the third. The third script was crap anyway. Yeah, it was and it and it all automatically just takes you out of it. Yeah, definitely. It takes of, you straight out. Because you, you know, like, well, you, you're the same character. And that's just a random character in a random film. This is a beloved character yeah. in one of the biggest franchises in the world. Do, I, do I, you really do that? I mean, they just about got away with it with Rhodey in the Iron Man films just because it was early enough on. Yeah. If, if, if he'd have gone through the first three Iron Man films and then they got someone else in in Civil War for Rhodey, it wouldn't have worked. No. Out. But they just, they striked while the Iron was hot. Well, when... So they just about got away with it. Um, I don't know. You probably know more of this. Is any... Scenes for episode nine been recorded with Carrie before she passed away. No, nothing at all. Right, okay. Um, there was ru- rumours, which probably the best way is to maybe mention a death in the opening credit crawl. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, the and then, other, and then your idea was about the the way just, that just seeing her. Yeah, just seeing her. No, no, you said just, just seeing her hand or something like that, and she's just passed away, and then Poe goes and gets everybody. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, or something like that, or. Uh, <laughs> Then you got the, yeah, the CGI option. Yeah, I mean, I never seen it as the disrespectful for Peter Cushion to do that. So I, I but he's been dead for a very, very, very long time. A very uh, long time. Yeah, but what's, what's really that got to do with it? I think it's still too fresh for Carrie to be taking over her role. It's it's different for Peter Cushion. He's been dead for a very, very long time, and it kind of made sense for the point of that story. You don't necessarily have to have Leia for Episode Nine. You can come up with an excuse for not to have. Yeah, it. you've got that option. Yeah, it depend again. It depends on how powerful her uh, part was going to be in nine. If it was just kind of like, oh yeah, she led the army while everyone else did it. It's like, well, maybe Poe's gonna have to step into the plate. Have to change the script that way. Or, you know, if she, uh, yeah, if she was did have a major incident, the unfortunate thing is, have they had to com- have to completely rewrite the script? You, you don't without knowing what their plan is. You can't yeah, really comment. True. So we'll see what happens. It, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, I, yeah, it's just my personal opinion. I yeah, I, I don't want Meryl, but as long as whatever happens doesn't affect the quality we want from the story, yeah, we, okay. I'm all right with it. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, uh, more carrying on with uh, more Star Wars stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, episode nine. Obviously, JJ's coming back to direct. Yeah. Uh, there, it's not necessarily rumours there's kind of musings and talkings that potentially he's looking at maybe retcon in this whole Ray parentage thing because um, he apparently Simon Pegg was in an interview and he said apparently JJ's idea and JJ's thought process going through these three films was different to the way it played out in episode 8 he had mm. a more rough idea that he was playing around with for, for Ray and it didn't go the way he was thinking so, it would in episode eight. So I don't know whether he's actually going to retcon it in episode nine, and the middle one end up being a load of bullshit. I I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this because I think JJ is going to knock it out of the park anyway. Because I think Force Awakens is incredible, and I think he will do great in episode nine. It's just, do you really retcon everything that's happened in episode eight or things that have happened in episode eight? It's like right, they've happened. So you take what you've got and you run with that. Yeah. Yeah. You keep changing shit all the time and going back and forth. Yeah, it's, just, it's just getting like, it's like, oh, fighting between directors, like, oh, I'm doing this or I'm doing that. It's like, yeah, but you're not making a coherent story then. You're just fighting to see who can get the biggest shock. And that's not, a, that's not making a good movie. That's yeah. just one-upping each other. I would have, uh, yeah, yeah, you can't keep doing like a tennis match of like, oh, parents have nothing to do with it. Oh, actually, they are quite poor. Oh, they're dead. Actually, no, they're not, because it's yeah. just going to fuck the audience yeah, up. Yeah, once you're like, well, this is pathetic. Yeah. Um... Um, if I'm guessing he wouldn't mind this, and I think he'd appreciate being part of it. If I were JJ or whoever, and you couldn't really decide on, if you had an idea but weren't sure, you, could, you didn't really decide on something, go and see George, because George, will, it, they're his babies, his characters. He might not have his own idea, but if JJ was like, "This is what I've got planned," or "There's this thing here," what do you think? What do you think would you go with that, or have you got? 
yes, do this, but instead of that kind of thing. Yeah. Just give us what your input. What do you do in my position? Yeah. Um, well, no, uh, unfortunately, George might have just turned around and go, I wouldn't have done that at all. It's crap. But, <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. It would make sense possibly to have, uh, you know, raised parents mean something and Kylo been lying to her the whole time because that's what a villain would do. Um, mm. But also, you know, kind of being another, like, Ray was just there, another bring balance to the force type, which Anakin kind of was. Because yeah. every, everyone's always spoke, oh, you put, again, probably know more about this than I do, I've spoke about did Anakin have a father who was his father? Yeah, and, and, and I don't think, um, I believe he didn't. No, I think he was I, just born through the force. That he was there for a reason. Yeah. And I think, you know, they can say a prophecy that the, the Jedi Council talk about is something we believe to be true, but we're not sure. So their prophecy was like there's one that can bring balance to the Force. Change it to, like, when the Force needs there to be a one to save the galaxy. They need someone to balance it. And raise the next one. Because yeah. I, I don't want... As long as they don't turn around and go, yeah, it was Luke that was her father, which I'm pretty sure they've shut down in yeah, The Last Jedi. Shut down. I'm fine with Because it was too obvious to be <laughs> Luke. Um, I would have liked it if they had included... What is it? Mara Jade? Yeah. In the whole thing, but... No, yeah, well... Yeah, we'll, we'll see what they go with. Yeah. Um, Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Have you seen who they're adding into it? Because obviously it's based in the 90s. They've added in Ronan the Accusers back <coughs> and Coulson is back oh, as brilliant. well. Right, okay. So I like the fact that Coulson's back because I've always thought he's a f- really fun character and putting him back into a movie I think is good. It revitalise him because I feel like a lot of people thought maybe he's getting a bit stale with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but, um, and I think it's also good with Ronan as well, because I quite like Ronan as a character, but again, he was just the stock villain yeah. of Guardians. So giving him this extra bit of layer, because he's going to be in the 90s, so he's going to be the Kree, he's going to be obviously with his Kree people, and yeah. they're really involved in this film, and potentially the Scrolls are going to be involved in the film as well. So maybe hopefully layering his story a bit more might make him a more interesting character. Yeah, I don't know much about Captain Marvel, and I haven't seen or researched much of what's <laughs> going on with it. Um, the only thing I do know with the, the Coulson thing is that I, I knew they always intended to somehow, at the end of at least the last season or whatever, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., mix it back in. Because obviously Coulson was, to a degree, quite not a, not a main character, but almost almost pivotal. So, so when he died in the first Avengers, it did kind of knock you a little mm-hmm. bit. Um, and he's been doing all right, Agent Shield, and every now and then they have referred to Ultron or things that have been going on in the Avengers films. Um, I mean, Nick Fury was in the first season for a few episodes. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm apparently Quake, who's in Agent Shield, was quite a pivotal character in some of the comics. Yeah, she was. So yeah. it wouldn't surprise me if in one of the films... She makes at least a cameo or appearance. Uh, they did try, and it kind of worked, the, the reboot of Ghost Rider in, yeah, in yeah. Agent Shield. So if, obviously, if I guess in this, because it's in the 90s, this would be before yeah, Phil was in Shield. Yeah, this is before Iron Man's even Iron Man. Yeah, so, so. yeah, it'd be... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine, but it makes sense for Phil to be there, because it won't be like, oh, well, how is he there? He's dead. It's like, oh, no, it's not. It's a prequel. Um, it will Captain Marvel... Uh, is, is this between the two Infinity War films, Captain Marvel? No, no, it's it's after. It's like it's it's, it's not a until standalone. Ne- it's not until next year. Ah, oh, hold on. Is it between it? I can't remember when it's coming out. Well, do you think they're going to throw? It's next year, but I can't remember when it is next year. But you, but you don't think Captain Marvel will be involved at all in the Infinity War? I, films? I, 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 there's rumours she still might be. Right, there's okay. rumours that she could make an appearance in this one. There's very strong rumours she could be in number four. I, I don't really know, but they could do uh, something in credits wise. Yeah, yeah. After, after we'll have to see, we'll be, I suppose. But I'm glad they're adding <clears throat> characters back in to give them a second chance. Yeah, it would be definitely one of those when it comes up on YouTube. Uh, Captain Marvel trailers arrived. I'll be like, yeah, all right, I'm going to watch it. I'll see what happens. Something, not something going to overlook. So to speak. yeah, um, yeah. Right. Um, I, I only found this out today as well. Um, apparently, there is a Batgirl movie in development. Mm. Yeah, that was my, that was kind of the sound I made when I saw it. I was like, eh, okay, I, I don't think know. The main the main question is why, really. I don't know because you've got all these other characters that you've 
introducing the Justice League, why are you suddenly going to Batgirl? Are, are they are they trying to touch Shouldn't on the make... whole the female strength position? Know, they nailed they, it they, with Wonder Woman. Yeah, they did. Yeah, but Batgirl wouldn't be Batgirl without Batman. You know, what I mean, she's she's very strong independent independent character, but she exists because of Batman. Wonder Woman exists. Because she's fucking awesome anyway, you know, she was just... Yeah, well, uh, I don't know. I it's don't one know. Of, when you think of... Usually with heroes, you, you say the hero, you think of the villain. So, you say Superman, you think of Lex Luger and Spider-Man, you know, sometimes Goblin or Mary Jane and whatnot. I know she weren't the villain, don't get me confused. With Batman, when you hear Batman, the first thing you usually think is Robin, or the Joker. So... Where's Robin? Y- well, yeah, the, the fact, Batgirl film, yeah. Maybe yeah, the she fact put that... Robin in. Everyone said, do you think they should do a Robin film? Most people go, nah, it's not standard, you know, stronger for a standalone. Batgirl makes no sense. Mm. I th- so unless you do, you, sh- you could have done Batgirl and Robin or something like that and had them together. Or do a Teen Titans movie. Something like that. Something or like that. If you Night want, Wing, Nightwing and Batgirl. Uh, you know what yeah. I mean? Or if you want, throw Batgirl. I uh, know they're doing Suicide Squad 2, allegedly. Yeah. Throw Batgirl in that mix if yeah. you want. I think it's purely because... It's the success of Wonder Woman. Well, there's the success of Wonder Woman... They're looking at the Supergirl TV series is doing okay, mm-hmm. and the fact that it was it a year of the woman this year. Yeah, is they're it? kind of kind of let's push it then. Let's see what we can do. Uh, and it's more of a it's going to be more of a cash flow cash cow kind of thing. Get little girls interested in it. I get why they're doing yeah, it, I just but I just don't think it's going. I don't think it's going to work. We'll, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. We'll see. And then uh, event last one before we start talking about wrestling. So mm-hmm. this is the last. This Nerd, is it. Nerdy bit of information before we uh, go to wrestling and yeah. stick with wrestling. <laughs> right. Um, Avengers 4. Um, Kevin Feige has said the title is meant to scare you. Right, okay. Now that can open up many possibilities, but apparently the title is meant to scare you. Uh, sort of like. Uh, well, if they say Death of Iron Man or something, of course, or the. Cap's funeral. Then <laughs> just for Cap's funeral. I'm, I'm guessing he what he means is the title might suggest that the bad guys might win, which would be such a kick in it the nuts. It would be a kick in the teeth. But as there was this really cool thing I was thinking of the other day, and I thought this would be the ballsiest thing in the world if they did this. In the comics, there is the point where Thanos finally gets hold of all the Infinity Gems because that's what they called in the comics, mm-hmm. not stones. He gets hold of all of them. And then he snaps his finger and half of the universe is destroyed. What if that is the last moment of Avengers 3? He mounts those stones on, everybody's looking in shock, they can't get to him, and the last thing you see before the credits is a snap of a finger, and that is it. Mm. That's... Um, I think that's ballsy if they did something like that. It would... It be... How how would they get back from that? And the only thing that's... Going, thrown into my mind at the minute is uh, I, I haven't seen the film so I'm not too sure yet would Doctor Strange's abilities help that at all well, he's got, it's the time stone that makes him go forward and back in time mm. and the time stone yeah. mounted on the gauntlet so without that no Strange can't do shit uh, unless of course they manage to get that get the gauntlet off Thanos whoever's left and then they could reverse time or whatever. I don't know what I'd like because they've they is it the collector they've kind of touched? Is that the de, de, Del Toro? Del Toro's character. character. Right. I, I don't see him lasting very long. Cause no, he's got the ether, isn't he? So he ain't gonna last long. What if uh, he, do, he do the click? Think the credits come up. The next film it's after the click, and nothing's really happened. And it turns out one of the Infinity Stones is a fake, and the collector's oh. he's got it. Because in a universe where, you know, obviously in this, in our reality, passports and things can be forged and all that, in in a galaxy where anything's possible, maybe you could forge a false infinity stone that looks the part, feels the part, but doesn't do the job. And he's running across this galaxy somewhere. And Thanos on his ass. Not so <laughs> because it made the collector a little bit more relevant than I'm, I'm, he's been. Yeah, he's a fun so character, far. but he hasn't really done much. Yeah. Don't give it Howard the Duck. I hate that fucking <laughs> I, I thought it was quite funny adding him in, to be it's honest. It's funny, Just but don't make him a relevant no, character. No, no, don't make him a relevant character. Those little cameras is more than enough. Yeah. You don't yeah. need anything else. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, I, I, don't mean, I don't think it would be the collector that did something like that. I think it would be Panther and Wakanda. Because I've got a funny feeling that last... The Soul Stone is in Wakanda. I think it is. They don't yeah. allude to it at any point during the Black Panther film, but... 
I feel like that's probably where it's going to be. Unless this whole keeping Hawkeye secret from all the material, trailers, posters and everything, he's got the biggest role to play. Maybe Fury's put him on a separate mission and said, here's the Soul Stone, go and hide Run. it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's always... When you think of the, the Avengers of Guardians and all that, you obviously think Iron Man and all that, and they are the weaker characters, and the best thing they need to do is make those weaker characters more relevant and more heroic. Yeah. So it wouldn't surprise me if someone like Hawkeye or... I know Black Widow stands out more because of who's playing her and the the, the Bruce Banner hit her romance. Mm. So if you want to give it to her, yeah. Because there, there are going to be a lot of people, and even people like you would like who go, she's cool, but she doesn't have any powers. She's just a badass with guns. Mm. So it automatically puts that in your head, like, she's not, she doesn't really hold a cake to anybody else. Make her relevant. Make her go, despite no powers or anything, she's a hero. And if she's got the balls, well, don't put, yeah, lady balls, to run across the galaxy on, with a, an Infinity Stone with Thanos on her ass, pissed off. Yeah. I mean, they, we might be wrong with the click thing anyway. This, where I was, this is the, the joy of speculating. But, yeah, it, yeah, it could be absolutely bollocks, but I'm saying if they decide to do that, it'd be a ballsy move. She'd be like, what the fuck's going to happen? Who's going to be left alive? Yeah. It destroys half the universe. Which half of our characters are gone? Well, I really hope they don't go, uh, you, you said, oh, it's going to scare you. Oh, and it's and Avengers 4, the end. Oh, is that it? Is that the name of the title? It's not scary. It's no. just that we knew it was going to be last yeah. one. Don't be a dick. Yeah, we'll have to see, won't we? Well, it's just, it's quite... <laughs> if you really want to be a Avengers 4, paedophile rape. <laughs> that, that would scare Avengers, me. Avengers 4, Hell Hydra. And everybody's yeah, just yeah. a Hydra meet with oh, everybody. Reset button. Reset. Yeah. Oh, man. If they did that, if something happened where he clicked his fingers for some universe change, it. it goes all the way back to Stark, even before he became Iron Man. They're like, what? <laughs> we go all the way back to the start. And it just gets done all over yeah, again. Yeah. It's different. Yeah, it's like we're rebooting the whole thing from the start. It's like, so like Cap doesn't become Captain America. Yeah. Bucky does instead. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man doesn't become Iron Man and he gives it to some kid or something. Yeah. yeah. Root, Root and Raccoon never met. Or Rocket even. But yeah, what was it? Is this... Uh... Is this going to be the last time we sing the song? Um, I don't know. Maybe we could have this as our intro to each podcast. Yeah. Well, oh, in that case... We might have to record this. Yeah, at some point. yeah. Well, yeah, we'll have to record it at some point. Just yeah. to, uh, yeah. Probably okay, we'll see what anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> Because it might be the last oh. one, or last live performance. <laughs> live. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we do that live, just so you know. So right. it's the big one. Yeah, it was the big one. WrestleMania. We've got a lot of lot of ups and downs to cover. Yeah, we've got about seven hours to cover. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll get through the kickoff show quickly. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I will say the only thing, I've, everything I wrote down there, you guys might be able to see it. Is in order. They happened. I couldn't remember where they did the Hall of Fame bit, but just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There was the Hall of Fame thing. It happened there. Yeah, Dudley's with that. Kid Rock no showed. I don't know if he yeah. meant to that was or weird, not. Isn't it? Everyone's thinking uh, Kid Rock would do a performance, but weren't even at the Hall of Fame thing. Don't know yeah. if you had a gig or he was drugged up <laughs> or drunk. Just sleep in the hotel. Yeah, you never know. So, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. kick off. So first one was the, the men's battle men's man battle royal. Nothing amazing except for the ending was fun. Yeah, it, well, I was expecting more. There was, it, no, there was no returning people. No, I, I thought... Except for Bray. Yeah, last time they did, uh, you know, they have a few start of the ring and the last four or five for do entrances. This was just, everyone's in the ring, everyone's go. The ring, go. Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it was more... I was surprised they did the Bray thing that early. I thought they might have kept Bray off TV a little while longer. Yeah. But it was a cool, cool well, moment, moment to go, right, they're going to go in this direction. And with what we saw on... Raw. Oh, yeah, they're definitely, since he broke and Bray, he's full on with him. Yeah, they're very strong. And the fact that they're going with he's deleted Sister Abigail from his Which psyche. Made, I mean, I don't know how they're working it, whether they're making Bray an actual face. It seems like they might be. He's still quite heel in his movements, but when he's with Hardy, it's like, oh no, he kind of is a face, I suppose. He seems more. Uh, less dark, more. It's still Bray, but less of a dark Bray, more. Happy, like, like Matt was, mm. or is. Um, I don't want it to be a, a you know, a, a double turn kind of thing. No, 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 like no. That. Keep, uh, just keep it going. Because, it's yeah, it's great at the minute. I see them possibly having a tag title run down the line. Yeah. 
Um, and in a few years' time, or when it's right, you can suddenly go, Sister Abigail's presence has returned, and try mm. again with, with the Bray thing. Yeah. But no, it, uh, I would like to. It, it was yeah, a cool I'm glad that Matt won that. I think he was the only one out there, apart from Ziggler, that I thought maybe win it. Colin yeah. was... Apparently there's a rumour going he was going to win it, but no, it didn't happen. No, it was... I liked the fact that Matt was having a full-on conversation with the statue of Andre. Yeah. It, it was... I think it was the right decision. It's, it's, it's pushing... Some people liked the, uh, what to call it, Hardy Compound thing. Some didn't. Mm-hmm. So, just in case anyone thought, oh, that was shit. I know some, you kind of did. To go, given the Andre thing, and it will hopefully erase anyone that didn't like that. Yeah. So, yeah, that was all right. Then we had the uh, Cruiserweight. It was a great match. It was okay. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was quite good. I it, thought it was reasonable. It was... Unfortunately, you're always going to have that thing with the kickoff show of, like, I'm not really... You don't want to get too invested in it because you're saving your energy for the main card. Mm. And you got... It It automatically takes away the prestige when you go, well, it's not good enough for the main card, uh, despite there being that tournament thing going on. Yeah. Because um, I'm going to go... In a way, I've always, I've always kind of wanted the UK title to be on the pre-show. Yeah, but again, it, it will eventually. There'd be... It would not the prestige of what... Uh, Americans perceive as British wrestling. It's true. like, why does the UK battle in the pre show? Yeah, true. You know, we, we've had match of the year candidates and stuff, all winners. So, yeah, but the Cruiserweight, they didn't do bad. Cruiserweight, it, I mean, it said it won, and that was yeah. expected. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I would have personally gone with Mustafa Ali. Mm, I, um, think, I think the reason they went with it because he was set to beat Enzo back when Enzo had it, and obviously the whole thing with Enzo <coughs> was apart, and he got. So I think it was leading up to him eventually getting what he was intending to get a while back. Yeah, it, well, it did the job. It just got the crowd warmed up. So, yeah, yeah there, there's, there's no a knock on it. It mm-hmm. just wasn't... When you think Cruiserweight uh, some, and you think WrestleMania, you think, oh, try and knock it out of the park. And they didn't, again, they didn't do bad. It was just standard. Did the job. Yeah, so, and then you had the Women's Battle Royal, which originally was called the Fabulous Moolah. Yeah. And I was like, who fucking came up with that idea? Really? Well, the Fabulous Moolah was uh, a wrestler. Yeah, I know she was, yeah. but it's her background and yeah. her... She's a bitch. She's a horrible, horrible, she... horrible person. So why would you fucking call yeah, her Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's kind of like... Uh, <laughs> she was a real-life Well, Yeah, the perfect example. If someone said, well, okay... Behind the scenes, she you know she did things that many see controversial or wrong, but you can't in, you know disagree with her legacy in the ring and in front of the cameras. Like, no, but you're not going to do could have the Chris Benoit battle. Royale, no, you're not exactly. And because uh, go well, he did great things in the ring. Goes yes, but we know what he did. So let, it's not going to exactly. happen. So they just kind of went here's the women's battle royal. Here's a trophy. Uh, again, nothing amazing happened apart from obviously they're building up with Sasha and Bailey. Bailey eliminated Sasha, and then Naomi popped up out of nowhere. I thought she was gone. Yeah, I thought she was gone. I didn't but even I consider it. I thought oh, I, I was I was like kind of celebrating with Bailey. I was like, yeah. oh, she's won it. And then Naomi popped no up. No music. So it was like something's going on. Yeah. But the thing is, I was like. Maybe, I don't know, obviously this the SmackDown Live tonight, there'll be relevance to it. Apparently someone said, oh, she got knocked out under the rope and then just came back in. I wouldn't be surprised if it was more, nah, it was a heel move that she just snuck out, waited and went back in. Because if they wanted to turn heel Naomi, and not heel Naomi, Naomi heel, it would, it, she'd seem a little bit more relevant to me. Because I've said this from the get-go... Talent quite, is I'm, not in the what you wear to the ring. No, but I think she's quite talented, and I quite like this feel the glow thing. I think it works. It's different to what others are doing. It is different, and she is athletic, but... I don't know. Again, it's... it's I suppose the best thing to do is, like, okay, I respect her, um, her work ethic and what she does in the ring, but I'm personally not a fan. No, that's fair. As, as a fan of wrestling, I'm not a fan of that character and... That, and it's, despite how good the gimmick is, it's not for me. Okay. So, yeah. Um, it's it, it is, but... Uh, it was good to see some of the Mae Young Classic competitors back y- in there. Yeah, um, although the thing that's getting me pissed off from throughout most of the night was the placing of adverts. Yeah, they, they missed Kyra Sane's elbow, we missed Sasha's entrance. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just... Uh, well, some of it was they had the match in the corner and an advert there. Yeah, they, yeah, they put the... I think it was, was it the men's? No, no, it was the Cruiserweight. It was Cruiserweight, Cruiserweight, yeah. halfway through the match, and they started doing an advertisement for the Rousey match. I was like, what it? We bought the pay-per-view. We're yeah. going to watch it. What are you doing? Well, yeah, don't, A, don't advertise what we're already watching. It's stupid. And two, if someone had said to me, like, 
you know, if I'd had my match, have my ma- mania moment, and go, oh, we showed an advert halfway through it, A, I'd be livid. I'd be pissed. But if they went, oh, no, 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 there was, you know, we did that split screen thing where, you know, with uh, the advert and then the little screen, and, and uh, I would have been right. Please tell me the advert was on the little screen and I was on the big screen, and it wasn't. No. Why try and make an advert for the show you're already watching more relevant than the match we're trying to watch? It's ridiculous. It, it's it's, it's, a it's just not respectful. Room. It really putting on the pre-show is bad enough, <coughs> but doing that in the middle is just not acceptable. Well, yeah. Again, one, we'd have to go through the fact that don't advertise the thing we've already bought, and two, uh, you know, they had the Snickers things and Mountain Dew and all that. Mm. What New Japan <coughs> New Japan do? is they have banners and logos all over the canvas of the ring. You do that, you don't have to show adverts yeah, every day. Because, if anything... Vince won't, though, will he? No, but if, if someone said to me, if uh, they like, can you show the Snickers bar like, four, uh, four times a night? Because, uh, or we could put your logo on the canvas and then people will be able to see your product for majority of the night. And, you know, it's out there. Yeah, it's, it'll be, it's, it's it'll the, be everywhere. Yeah, it's the thing that makes sense, but, you know, <coughs> it doesn't make sense, does it? No. Like, no, damn it, I only want WWE stuff on my canvas. And, that's pro- and that's then they just shout his... down Cole's ear saying, show the Snickers advert again, keep saying history. Yeah, and unless you want, Brock, and Brock Lesnar's allowed to have his advertisements on his shorts, but no other rest of it. That was his, yeah. So, Ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, ma- yeah, that was main the show. Major. Yeah. Um, Intercontinental, <coughs> Balor, Rollins, Miz... Good opener. The, the, I loved the white walker. Rock, uh, the white walker thing with Rollins with the blue eyes and the suit. Fucking but, awesome. But he that looked pumped me up. He man. looked like he'd be a perfect extra yeah. white walker. As soon as he came out, I was I was pumped. I was yeah. like, and I was like rooting for Balor to win. I, out of three to pick, I wanted Balor <laughs> to win. Mm-hmm. But as soon as I seen Rollins, I was like. God, dude, it's like, yeah. you are fucking ready for this. Well, I said, I might be right, I might be wrong. I thought, I said to someone, I bet Seth isn't happy that he's opening the show. Because he said it, to me. Yeah, he's always been, I want to be the man, but I suppose he's kind of, not took it on the chin as such, but A, he knew he was going to win, so Grand Slam, and B, it's like, put me in the opening, I'm going to, I'm going to steal it. I'm going to put it... And it's, it's definitely one of the better ones of the night. Yeah, it was, it was, um, it was a solid match, um... It uh, felt... It was even the thing with Miz as well, not having the Mistrage. She sent them back. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I liked that in the whole... They have kind of touched I, it I on Raw. I do this on my own this time. Yeah, it's like, this is Mania, and they kind of touched it on Raw a bit of that promo of them going, so you're saying you can't win without the Mistrage? Like, are you going to go now with that? Or we'll see. It Even though the match wasn't, like, uh, a blow-everyone-away kind of match... Uh, it's it still felt WrestleMania worthy yeah. for what they put up there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the only thing I thought was a bit weird was the Finn thing with all the fans there, and the little rainbow Balor thing. It's like, right, this is now seems more like you're advertising the gay parade more than if this is meant to be the Balor club. I don't, I, yeah, people ask him why. He was, I mean, I, I, I don't have anything <clears> against him <throat> advertising it. Not at all. Uh, but if, if, if I just, what you I were just aiming to yeah, do. yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it just it seemed kind of out of nowhere that he started doing it. Yeah, and it just, it, it seemed more weird I, of them going, yeah, hey, Finn, go for it, yeah. It's like, no, he's cooler than that. I, I, I was still annoyed that we didn't get the demon. I know it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't needed for the match, but the way they were bringing them out, they brought out Rollins first, then The Miz. I thought, yeah. right, well, they're leaving Balor for the last for a reason, and then he just popped out as Balor. I was like, it did cross I know my it, mind. I know it didn't need the demon, but it's fucking mania. I wanted the demon. See, this this will feed straight perfectly into the second match because, the do- in a way, they're doing it right with Finn of y- you want the demon that much, you wait and wait and wait and wait yeah, and wait, and, wait and when it happens, it's worth the payoff. And yet, they decide not to do that with Asuka's streak and kick it straight out of the ballpark. Yes, which we do. Re- yeah, he goes straight uh, into that. Yeah, we're going straight into that. Okay, so yeah, so Seth won, Intercontinental. Yeah, so great, great for Seth. Yeah, great for Grand Seth. Slam on Trump. to Charlotte and Asuka. Yeah. Asuka lost. That, if in hindsight, I think that's what annoyed me most about the night. Oh, I don't, I, I'm on the fence. I generally don't, I mean, I think, I agree with you in the point that maybe it was too soon. Um, Charlotte. However, I don't, Mind it being Charlotte because she is definitely the best women's wrestler there, um, and I can't think of anybody else 
that people would accept to take the streak. People keep going saying, oh, he's got to be Rousey. It's like, yeah, but people aren't going to be happy with that, having a UFC girl come in and take that streak away from her. They want a proper full-time wrestler doing it. And honestly, I think maybe Charlotte might only be the one. I can't think if, of it. If, yeah, if you think of the roster now, yeah. But it didn't have to be someone who was currently on the roster if you'd waited. Yeah, true, but then you've got to start... It's having that pressure on top of you. It's like, you've got to keep Asuka winning all the fucking time. But, yeah, it's... it's. I know it gets to the point where... In, again, even though I hate what happened, because, again, as a fan, the timing of Taker losing his streak, when you really think about it, was perfect. It got to the point where you walk into Mania and Taker's in a match, it's like, well, it's standard, he's going to win. Yeah. And that was, you know, sometimes... Was you did begin to think that at 28 and 29, but it did sometimes with social media and during the match, go, well, maybe not. With 13, no one ever thought that, so Vince was perfect on pulling the trigger there. You so, certainly pulled it a bit too early with Asuka. Definitely, because you've you got to have a decent amount of time, because uh, when you when you think of the way Tiki Streak ended, you think you can automatically just top your head and go, location, what WrestleMania, who did it? Uh, with Goldberg, I, I don't know if you know this, his streak... If I asked you who broke it, would you know? I can't remember. Because they did it too long and they didn't build it right. It was Kevin Nash, which, and it was stupid. It was a bad decision to do it. And I think in a few years' time, people might remember it was Charlotte that did it, but it won't seem that impressive, and you might have to really think about what WrestleMania it was. Um, so I would have gone with... But Charlotte, I don't think Charlotte needed it more than anything. No, She'd already she, created a great yeah, career. Yeah, true. Legacy. She didn't need it necessarily, but I'm just. I'm, yeah, but then Brock didn't need it. Yeah, Brock didn't need it. Yeah. But again, he was the only one I could see that legitimately could do it. it the shock. I don't mind the shock thing, but I would have been more okay with it if Asuka didn't tap out. Yeah, that's what Sarah said. I said, yeah, she tapped out. She's a submission specialist, and mm-hmm. she tapped out, uh, and she tapped out quite quickly. Yeah. I wanted, if she was going to tap out, she should have been wrenching that, well, that, that figure eight for ages, literally to the point where she, you thought she's either going to tap out or yeah. pass out. Well, yeah, other people have held him to the figure eight longer. I don't remember Charlotte working the legs so it would seem, it make more sense that she tapped. But you think, right, as she's not only fighting at the main event for the Women's Championship, she's got a streak to defend. You'd want to fight to your last breath. So if she passed out, so be it. If she got pinned, okay. But now it's like, she can walk back in and go, oh, well, I haven't been pinned yet. Because, no, but we now know you're the type that will give up. Tap. Yeah, which mm-hmm. seems less... And another thing which it didn't make sense to me is Vince banned her from using the armbar because it's now Ron- Ronda Rousey's move. What is that? The, really? That's the reason? Yeah, which I was like, you know... Unless it's those a, are the people who's armbar. It's an armbar. Well, it's just... A, unless it's a very pivotal fi- finish to the character... Other people are allowed to do moves. And it wasn't really... It was one of Asuka's signatures, but it finishes the, the kick on the Asuka lock. It'll be getting rid of the Eclipse soon, yeah. because it's too close to the stomach. But I'll be like, OK, so you're getting rid of the armbar because Ron is doing it. How many people do you want doing the fucking spear? Roman does it. Goldberg does, does it. it. Edge. Charlotte. Big it, show it, every it, now. Goldberg took the piss out of Le- uh, Reigns on the fucking Hall of Fame. Yeah. Saying that it's a really easy move to copy Reigns. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's, it's... Yeah. It's true. So... Idiot. I'm now more concerned... That, that ass is going to get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, that again, that is another reason so, I was worried about. I mean, oh, I, I'm so on the fence with it. There were points where I think it, it was a it was a good idea, but then other times I think it got you it, talking. It, that's yeah, what Vince wants you to do. Yeah, but that's the thing. He, he likes to get people talking and getting debates going, but he doesn't actually think of the repercussions afterwards. I again, it kind of just builds in with what something happened on Raw. Uh, Bobby Lashley returned. Yeah. Now the only reason I'm saying this is that. One of Lashley's finishes is the spear. So and apparently he won't be going against Lesnar. Yeah, well, yeah, and Lashley, I for some reason I didn't see it coming. I, I knew there was rumours and I didn't recognise the music. So when it turned and it said Bobby Lashley in the screen, I was like, oh, this is cool, and he he looked built for it, yeah. and he had that look of intensity. It was like the Apollo Crews should be taking notes. That's the intensity of That's what Cruz I thought that, that Cruz was going to go for when he first yeah. did but they just... He smiles too much. Yeah, he's he's the tightest. Yeah. It's yeah. like, be intense yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And you might have done something. But now it's probably too late for Apollo because they'll be like, well, he's just doing Lashley. Um, but also, I also didn't know some Raw was Asuka wasn't there. So no, I think... She's, no, she's officially on SmackDown. 
Well, before Mania, she was on both shows. Yeah, which I think was wrong. You picked Charlotte to stay on SmackDown yeah. and build it up. But I'm worried that Asuka's going to go to SmackDown and be all like, congratulations. Uh, Stanley racist, I'm sorry. That was a bit racist. Yeah, so That's racist. Re- I'll rewind. <laughs> we go, congratulations, but I want a rematch at Backlash. Now, I did think, A, if she loses again, it, it's just another blemish on the record of Asuka, which... Mm. It was just weakening even more. If she wins, it'd be like, well, why didn't you do it at WrestleMania? Yeah. The only other way I can see him getting out of it is if Carmella Cash is in. Yeah. But I don't see Carmella as a championship material yet. So if she cashes in, She's loses... She's going to do it soon. Money in the bank's not too far away. She's I know. Got long left. If she cashes in, loses, and then Asuka's annoyed with her that she cost her, her title shot, then you can develop a rivalry between Asuka and Carmella. And Carmella's not bad in the ring... But I no, think getting her in the ring with someone like Asuka might help. She needs to stop fucking screaming. Yeah. I can't stand it when they do that. It makes her look weak. It makes her look pathetic and childlike. Yeah. You're not building me as a threat when you do that. What, why? And again, don't pass, put this past WWE. It wouldn't surprise me if Carmella, well, at whatever point, round back, it's not a backlash, just before Money in the Bank or at Money in the Bank, cashes in, loses, walks into the women's Money in the Bank, world, uh, Money in the Bank match and wins again. You go, can you imagine how pissed everyone would be yeah. like, she held that for a year, fucked it up, and now you're telling me she's got the contract again? What yeah, is going on? Surprise me. So, so, yeah, that's that match. Yeah. Uh, next one was US title, so it's champion Randy Orton versus Rusev versus Jinder versus Bobby Roode. Uh, Bobby Roode. Um, um, pff, what annoyed me? It was an average match. It wasn't anything incredible, apart from the fact that Rusev was over as fuck. Uh, I, so over. Rude, why? And I, I, I thought Rude was going to win it. I really thought it, he had it. Who, Rude? Yeah. No, Rude. Rude. Oh, um, see, well, well, one thing I didn't know is my brother had to point it out. Aiden English was in the Battle Royal. And had long hair. And then when and he, he came, came out, out he said, so he must have shaved yeah, his head I backstage. Said that to, I said that to Matt and Amy, and I was like, who's got a razor backstage? Why do you... Well, the makeup girls just, would, wouldn't just they? Just do it before. Just do it before. Maybe, maybe it was like a, he lost a bet or some shit. I don't know. But, I mean, and what annoyed me with Bobby Roode is that he got to the ring and they cut off his entrance. And I was thinking, I get you've got a time gap to fill. I missed but, the entrance completely because I was busy getting a drink. Well, I was gutted. But <laughs> everyone <laughs> always <laughs> looks forward to Bobby Roode's entrance. So give us the full deal. Yeah, Rusev yeah. not winning is concerned me because there's rumours he's asked for his release. Yes, yeah, so about two weeks before the Mania, he asked for his release, and as a battling tool, they said, well, let's put you in the US title match. And not only did he not win, but he was the one that was pinned by yeah. fucking Jinder Mahal. M- maybe. Out of all those four, I would have preferred Randy to fucking retain than Yeah, that. I mean... I- I don't get Vince's thought process. I don't get it. He knows we don't like him. We know that we just, we don't think he's working. That's why they took the WWE Championship away from him. So why give him the US one? Um, I, I, I don't get it. I, I, I kind of get it in a way of... what what This is what they should have done before giving to Jinder the WWE title. Yeah, if, if, right, if Jinder yeah, hadn't they, even won yeah, the WWE Championship, yeah, this would have been like, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll see where I, you're exactly going with that. This. If it, if, yeah, if he hadn't had the WWE Championship beforehand and done it the way they'd done it, this would have been half as bad because they'd gone right. You're building okay, up this. They're guy slowly character. building him up, yeah. and this is the way they should have gone in the first place. And I would have gone, okay, let's see where this goes. But n- knowing what we know in this, yeah. in, in our mindset now, it's just you're making the same mistake yeah, again. They no of, one fucking cares. They kind of just don't know. Uh, what you know those dance mats you see at uh, like the uh, uh, arcades? Yeah, yeah. It seems like they're kind of doing that. They don't know what direction to go through with Jinder. So be like, well, we could put them over here, but oh, we'll do this. But now actually, you're going two steps back here. Yeah. You just, it just seems a mix up. So maybe he'll shock us and prove it, it, he didn't do a bad job as a character for the WWE Championship, but he just didn't earn the right for that prestige no, yet. No. So maybe people will be more forgiving with this. Yeah. It was a standard match, like yeah, you said. Standard. It wasn't amazing. Maybe, hopefully, they've said to Rusev, maybe they said to Rusev, okay, if you want to go, you can go, but we'll give you one last WrestleMania match. Or maybe they said, do WrestleMania, knowing the Rusev Day chance, and see what you want to do then. Because I'll admit, if I was in Rusev's shoes and said, I want to quit, and I went to Mania and had that kind of pop, I'd think twice about staying. But there's only so many pops you can take if we think, are they actually going to pull the trigger on me? Well, yeah, well, you know, 
And it, Vince isn't a, uh, he's a, an idiot sometimes, but he's a good businessman, so he might have just turned around and said, we've got an idea for you. We haven't ignored the fact that you're so over and your merch is through the roof. Mm. We might have plans for you, but I, I don't know. But again, yeah, it was one of those kind of like... It wasn't a piss break match as such because people were investing in it, but it was just one of those kind of like, oh, here we go. Is one of the. It, it, it keeps the ball rolling at WrestleMania of like, is the US Championship. We're building up, we're building up to the bigger matches. And yeah, it just so happens yeah, in the one. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then the next one, I'm surprised it was so far down the car, considering Triple H and his ego normally gets involved mm-hmm. most times. Uh, yeah, so it was Rousey and Kurt versus Triple H and Steph. Entrances for Triple H and Steph was They're always cool. Really good. I mean, I know it's kind of carbon tread of the, fo- the previous year with the bike, but the fact they were both on a bike each this time and they both did the spinning yeah. thing. I, I like this kind of unison. I, I, I really quite enjoyed the entrance. You it can't was cool. go wrong with the Motorhead song. No. They got the laser thing that looked really cool. Yeah. What annoys me, despite what an- it annoys me in both sides because it annoys me that I always find it so cool, but it's like. If Hunter can put his ego aside, it's like, do you want to give one of these cool entrances to another superstar? That's a good point, point. yes. Yeah, instead of giving it to yourself all the time. Uh, Kurt performed better than I thought he would, because yeah. it was a concern. Rousey, I think, shocked everybody. I think it was actually Mash of the Night. I think it I was think probably one of the better ones. I think it's that and the Intercontinental, uh, the two that were up there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this match was so much better, because I thought they just... they. They keep her quite protected because it's a mixed tag match. Mm-hmm. But no, they fucking got into it and they told a story of good versus bad really, really well. Yeah. The fact that Steph kept annoying her and pushing her and slapping her and then running away and not being able to get to her straight away. So that yeah. the moment that she got that hot tag, you were begging for her yeah. to rip her apart. So uh, wrestling quality-wise, it wasn't the greatest point, but, but they the told story the story perfectly. Yeah, the story was told um, great and they, you, they gave you all the spots that you needed to see. Yeah, well, even Triple H taking on Rousey and getting that, his ass kicked. Well, yeah, that was it. I mean, what it proved because everyone had the concerns like Rousey just keeps coming out that smile all the time. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's like she shouldn't really be smiling right now. But as soon as the bell rang, she was invested. She was like, I know what I got to do. I got my job. I'm concentrating. So and when uh, she faced up against Triple H, they, again they built up perfectly. She stood in the right position, got the crowd invested. And Triple H, like, yeah, go. And as soon as she had. Triple H in the corner throwing those punches. So like, you go for it, bitch! <laughs> you knock his fucking block off! Yeah, yeah. Um, was awesome. So, yeah, they, they did it well. It and was a double tap out in the end, wasn't it? Uh, no, it looked like it was going to be. Oh, yeah, it was And it. then uh, Triple H kind of rolled cut on and it ended up just being Steph tapping. when. Uh, was, it was just Steph tapping. Yeah, because I think... I think uh, Triple H might have got an angle slam for his troubles right yeah. the last second and then Ronda got the, the arm bar in. And yeah, it went it went really well. Yeah. And Ronda should be proud of herself. Yeah, she definitely should be proud of herself. So. I mean, it didn't we do much on Raw tonight? That she came out, she put uh, Steph in the armbar again, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, um, Steph is just being a usual bitch self. I'm interested in what match they're going to have her do at Backlash. Yeah, um, I think it's a case of maybe you just need to feed someone to her to build her up a bit more. I, what, if uh, Alexa kind of comes out on Raw next week saying, because I think she already, did she state she's going to get a rematch at Backlash? Well, someone did. No, Miz did, didn't Miz it? did, yeah. Yeah. Alexa's probably going to be like, I've earned an, another title shot. If Ronda comes out and just says, I want to throw my name in the hat, I'm here now, maybe start her off with someone, uh, what's the word, um, uh, veteran like Mickey James. Yeah, so like I said, James, throw, throw someone to her so you can build her up. Yeah, have Mickey James Ronda at Backlash, and Mickey will be like, right, okay, she's first one and one in the women's division. Just follow, kind of follow my lead, and, and, we'll, and we'll see what happens. So, yeah. yeah, it wouldn't surprise me that's the way it goes. Yeah, it was a good match. Very yeah. good match. Um, oh, yeah, we did Smackdown. mention, quick, forget to mention something. At the end of the Flair Asker match, uh, oh, the, ref came, the ref came, because Cena was in the crowd all night, in case you didn't fucking know, because yeah. they panned to him about 600 minutes. times. Um, yeah, the, the end of that match, a ref came down, spoke to him, he looked in shock, and then you hear Cole go, I wonder what he's telling him. We know what yeah. he's telling him. It means the Undertaker's here, and he fucking I... bolted up the fucking ramp. And I, even, it... even Charlotte turned and went, fuck. Well, well, it, well, again, it was, despite, it didn't have to show Cena as many times in the crowd. No, like, get it, he's there, he's watching it. But, it's a great way of telling the story. Yeah, they told the story, right? Um, but yeah, so we, we'll talk about that when we get to yeah. the match. So yeah, SmackDown tag match was next. New Day, Bludgeon Brothers, Usos. It was Usos' first ever proper match on the main card. Yeah. Um, and it was a bit of a disappointment. And yeah. 
And I don't think it was necessarily to do with the guys. They did what they could in the time constraints they had. They were given five minutes. And yeah. it really wasn't good enough, to be honest. It's like that, I, and it wasn't the guys' fault. I think they did what they could in the time. They literally just like, let's get this shit done quickly. Yeah. They haven't got enough time. If they were given 15 minutes, they would have tore the house down. I, I can't remember... With that match, any really New Day spots no, or there was barely anything. spots? It was mainly Bludge get the Bludge 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 over, yeah. And Which... you know, and, uh, right people won. I think. I think you, you built them up with squashing people and annihilating people for the last few weeks. Mm-hmm. Right people won, but it, it, the match was just too small. Was um, it was, poor. was it one or two commentator tables used during the night? Two. I two. Think. Right. You had three there, and I know you can't really go overboard. I think one didn't break, so you, you could have had that. If they really wanted to put the Bludgeon Brothers over, it should have been like total annihilation. Like, do the steps thing to Xavier Woods again, uh, maybe put the Usos to a commentator table, just to the point that you can't. I know I can't remember New Day or Usos' offence now, but the reason is you can't remember it because the Bludgeon Brothers didn't give them a chance. That's what you want to think. Um, yeah. So it was okay. I, I think the problem was everyone was like, oh, the, the potential they could have had. Yeah. But again, with their time restrictions, it I was did. like, oh, yeah, all right. it's a shame. So, uh, I mean, I did find it weird that New Day had midgets in pancakes. Yeah. Um, I, just, I mean, I, we were laughing, but laughing a kind of, this is awkward. Kind um, of, I felt so. Because I was just like, this is Vince's... Warp little old mind going, small people are funny. Dress them up like morons and have them do funny flippy shit. It's, it's like, the, you know the little meeting you see in Wolf of Wall Street where they talk about throwing midgets into targets? It felt like, <laughs> as soon as I saw them there, the first thing I thought was Vince in a little ballroom going, what can we do with the midgets? Let's dress them up. And it's just, it might I was been. disconnected. I felt like, I don't think that New Day signed off on this. I don't know. I, I was like, like to say, like, it might have been Vince. It could have been the warp mind of the New Day. I like, don't see do that it. happening. I feel like Xavier would chime in and go, maybe a bit too far, Vince. Maybe, maybe yeah. I don't know. It, it, again, you got you talking about it. That, that's true. That, that's it was, the thing. It's just a bit weird. It was weird. I think what um, I'd like to see on SmackDown is uh, a possible debut of Sanity. To kind of go, yeah. yeah, all right, you got the belts now, but yeah, Sammy and Bludgeon Brothers, yeah, that, that's money, well, that's that money right great. there. So, yeah. uh, they're, they're probably, uh, it wouldn't really surprise is. me if there's a SmackDown tag title match tonight, like either New Day or the Usos are invoking their rematch clause tonight. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, the next taker did appear, mm. he did arrive, um, as we all knew he probably would. We were worried for a little bit that maybe he just might appear and say yes and fuck off. But no, he yeah. did. It, they built it up well. Cena came out, then Elias came out, <laughs> and that was brilliant. brilliant. That was perfectly done. Uh, and then Cena started walking up the ramp, and then you hear the gong. You see the hat and the cloak in the middle of the ring. The lightning went off, wow. and then the gong again, and then Taker started coming out. It right. Well, the thing again, why it was done so brilliant. I'd always said with because a lot of people pissed off Taker didn't appear on Raw uh, on the build up. I was thinking, he's, is this is. In for his character, it's perfect with the mm. mind games because this is if Cena wanted it, you want to piss off your opponent, whether it's Cena or not, don't do anything because no, that no, is I'm, what was getting seen. Yeah, head. I was fine with him not appearing until Mania. Um, so the story was told well. Well, so when the ref came out and you see Cena first come, nah, you know, and ref's like, nah, I'm serious. And then he legs it and then he comes out and then was like, this is happening. And then the ref comes out again, kind of. Looked like it was bad news. Uh, yeah, like, it was oh, like, no, maybe, he has, uh, uh, maybe he's gone. I don't know. It's either a little pissed. Yeah. He then the lights, the ref. He's yeah. like, you fucking kidding me. Well, then the lights go out. It was like, here we go. Elias. <laughs> Just, you knew he was going to make an appearance. Yeah. It was, I'm glad they did that. It yeah. was funny as hell. What? I, I, again, at the time, but I thought different after what I saw. When, uh, what I would have done is have Cena go all the way to the back and just carry on with the show. And then later on, Cena come out like, no, I've had time to think about it in the back, and I'm pissed off about this. The fact that someone has seen you, I know you're here. Get so out. get your ass over here. Then nothing, and then maybe the hat thing and stuff. But the fact that the match went as long as it did, I know why they did it that way. Because um, um, it was so we, just we, like we, two, three minutes. Yeah, we, it? yeah, it was three minutes. Yeah. That was a, and it was a squash match. Yeah. Cena barely got any offence in at all. Uh, you, got the, you got the snake eyes, he sat up when he went for the... Knuckle shuffle, uh, choke slam, tombstone, tombstone goodbye. And personally, disappointed. 
Uh, what, with the quality of the match? Or, I'm or? disappointed. I'm di- as soon as that bell rung, I was disappointed from start to finish, I think. Well, you didn't want the badass? Or what? No, I didn't oh, want the badass. Oh, you mean the, 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 the ring bell, you mean? Not the gong? <laughs> no, no, not the gong. No. The, yeah, the ring the, bell. Yeah. Um, no, the entrance was great. It's just a classic taker, but the, mm. the entrance was longer than the match itself. And it's all the build-up. You had all this build-up, and Cena carried this storyline into Mania like a fucking champ. And then it's, he squashed in three minutes. And people are all saying, oh, it's because Taker can't really do it as much anymore. It's like, well, if that's the case, don't have him do it at all. Yeah. It's like, you're, you've done nothing there. All you've done is prove to us that that massive retirement thing after the Reigns last year was bullshit. You also proved that Cena can get squashed, which I don't understand why they did that after all this. Yeah. Problem. And then three, you're forcing an old man to come out of retirement for three fucking minutes. It... it the... I'm just disappointed. I, I wanted more. I mean, I'm not saying it had to be a fucking half an hour match, yeah. but 10 to 12. You know what I mean? I, I marked out as a fan. I'll admit that. Yeah. Because I, mean, uh, yeah. I was happy to take it. What I heard was there was... They, they canned it at the last minute. Going to be a mix of the dead man and the American badass in his entrance. But I, I think they, uh, they knew it was going to... I think they knew it was a bad That's idea right at the last second. So... What, some people are saying, oh, maybe to build up to a better match next year. The way I see it is, hopefully, the, the Roman Reigns thing at 33, no one really liked. And I think Vince got that. And there was that struggle of, well, how are we going to bring back on to the hat coat thing? What I thought they did with that was brilliant. Yeah, the, uh, the hat and the coat in the ring with the light, it's kind of like, I'm back. Well, yeah, they're showing the thing of like, this is what happened last year. There was the lightning and the hat and the coat disappearing. It was like, it almost it gave me the impression of like, it's materialised back on him. It's like, he's took it back to go, all right, well, maybe you've got a point. Maybe I can still go. I know he, he didn't take many bumps because of his hip surgery, but he looked like he was moving better because of his hip surgery. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm not saying he wasn't moving better, but if he was moving better, he should have been put on a bigger match. Yeah, well... I know, it's difficult. I think they're, I know I'm they're hoping they're saving different. him for something else. Yeah, but, I know, but it's Mania. You don't save it at Mania. Well, you what I mean fucking is, all out at Mania. I mean, you don't save it for I another mean, match. I mean, like, Mania 35, another Mania. If that was the case, they shouldn't have had the match happen. They should have done the thing that maybe we wouldn't have agreed with, but I would have gone, right, well, we've got a year to build to it. Pop out, say yes, but Mania next year, and build it for a year. Yeah. I know it would have pissed a lot of the people off, but I still think you've pissed a lot of people off by having that short match as short as it is and squashing Cena. What have you done for him? Nothing. I know it's not going to damage him that much because it's John Cena, but what has Cena got to do to come out now? He's going to come out well, and just say, even on Raw. I lost. I, I lost bad. He was scared. He might, he might be on SmackDown, but I doubt it. I heard he was scheduled for Raw, uh, and then and he, his only other appearance after that was the greatest Royal Rumble till gets the to the future. But... Uh, I just don't know what to think. Mate. Again, it's one of there those... Was, there, like I said, there were nice little poppy moments in like, nostalgia, because it's The Undertaker, but if you strip all that away... It was the cash cow thing. Yeah. It's giving people who've gone to WrestleMania that moment. To say, I think it was more the moment than the match. Mm. Um, and it's... It's easy for us to say and bitch about it now, but... Because the weird thing of wrestling is, it, it'd be different if, if it was the end of like a season. Of like, that's it. That's the, the season finale. There's no more. We have the right to bitch about it. Not knowing if they've got a plan ahead, because they could do this plan, and then a few months time we could sit there and go. In hindsight, actually, that was perfect. I doubt it, mm. but it, yeah, it might have been the thing. Again, I think hopefully he's gone. I'll, I'll, I'll do th- it, even though, like I say, it's stupid. I'll do three minutes, do the thing, give them their little. Yay moment and go, and then rest for two years, and then at 35, they can't drop the ball this time. It can't be like, ooh, because at 33, they'll just skip Roman Reigns. He's the man. No, really think about this. Really listen to the fans, and really make keep an eye on everybody's health and what they can do, and think about Taker's career and how it should end. Uh, because I kind of agree with you, he, he, um, he's always said this, he wants to go out in the shield. Because mm-hmm. I've always said, actually, you know that thing I said about, I'm not going to go into detail here because we'll be here all night. Just, the, 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 yeah, past. yeah. The, we've done an hour and ten now. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll blitz to it. The Metallica idea. Yeah, doing it for free. The, yeah, right. And staying. And I will there. mention it another time, but I swear. The only thing, I remember talking to someone about it, I don't think I mentioned this to you, and this is going to sound weird coming from me, but if they did all that, 
I think Sting should win for two reasons. Number one, it takes take goes out in a shield. And two, Sting's WWE career cannot end with two pay-per-view losses. I it's bad, isn't it? He's got to have at least one, one, one thing. Of, and it's the shock value of going, Sting was the man in this scenario. But afterwards, both Sting and Take can get up, shake their hands, and walk off into the sunset. Because then Sting will be happy, because I know Sting's putting off his next surgery because he, he's thinking about that one match. But again, just a, not a long match. Because they're old. Twelve and they're, minutes. Yeah, they're old. They're injured. They're the spot fest like Goldberg Lesnar was, yeah. and then they can go. You know, it would be such a. Oh, what's the word? Uh, the fans would love it just again for the moment more than that. Like we're finally getting what we've wanted for years, and it would be closure for both. Well, yeah, that's it. It would be closure for the fans for Taker and for Sting. Mm-hmm. And then, and then Taker, I think, would be smart to go, I've got no reason to come back now. Yeah. I've, I've done everything I've done what wanted to do in this business. I'm yeah. 55 years old, wherever I am. Yeah. It's time to retire. Let me rest. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So, next. Uh, yeah, Brian and Shane versus Owens and Zane. Well, luckily, there was not really a lot to talk about it, here. It wasn't, a, yeah, I was not saying it was an amazing match, but it was just happy to see Brian back. The yes chance were going nuts. He got all the offence in that we expected and we wanted. Yeah. We got the yes kicks. We got the knees to the face, the submission moves. They got knocked out early and we had Shane kind of dealing with it for a little mm-hmm. bit. And then eventually Brian got back in and did all his moves and eventually yeah. did the knee to the face, submission move, done. But yeah. it was... Again, it was story told enough and well enough yeah. for me to enjoy it. It was the moment of the Daniel Bryan's return yeah, to Yeah, and it lasted long enough. It wasn't too long, it wasn't too short. I think it was just the right amount for this kind of a match. I, I, I don't know if it fell flat or if it just didn't work. It did work a little bit. When Daniel Bryan was attacked from the get-go uh, and the stretch came out and stuff, again, I know they were trying to put that concern in us of like, oh, because Daniel has a history of neck yeah. injuries. But it seemed more like they were trying to recreate what happened last time in New Orleans. Yeah. And it's like, no, yeah, I'm fine that. that. Uh, Shane probably shouldn't have wrestled as much as he did with his diverticulitis. But he if, did it. Yeah, I mean, kudos to him, but hopefully he's going to go away and get well now. Mm. Um, what I thought was brilliant was Kevin and Sammy attacking from behind because of, you know, they're yeah, not WWE it, superstars. Of course they're not going to Yeah, I was going to say, it's like it had KO's music hit, and obviously we were all fucking punk because KO's entrance is always yeah. great. And just out and of nowhere. suddenly, boom, they just hit them. And yeah. yeah, that was fun. But yeah, it makes sense because people would, if they did have an actual entrance, like, why, why are they getting an entrance? They're not hired. They're going to you know, they're, they're not superstars. And they didn't. They could attack. What they, what happened on Raw, I hope that you saw that segment with them and Kurt Angle. I didn't see this segment with Kurt Angle. Oh! I, highlights. I only saw the two of them uh, fighting each other, going, what's going on here? They said, oh, they're fighting for their jobs. And then they both get counted out and lo- lose. So what the fuck happens now? The what promo, happened with the Kurt thing then? The promo was one of the bulliest moves, and me, my brother was laughing, but r- right after we look, gave each other that look of like, did they just go there? Kevin and Sammy walked in, and Kurt's like, what are you guys doing here? Is that? And they were like very humble and say, like, "Wait, are you looking for work? Yeah, I've I've seen what you've done to management." And they're like, "That that that's that's personal. You know, we respect you here." And blah blah. blah. And he goes, "Well, uh, I've got no space left in the tag division, but I hear TNA hiring." And the whole place like, "Oh, oh, 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 oh the shot is fired." I was like, "Did he really just do that?" I couldn't Fuck, believe I it. wish I'd seen that. I'm going to go look that up. The whole up. place is like, oh! And then he said to Kevin, I, again, I don't know where they're going with this, of like, yeah, only one of you's getting hired, and neither of them won. Yeah, so that, that, and each even announced, that means that neither of them are going to be on Raw. So, so where are they going then? They don't know where they're going. The fact that I was showing Kurt during the match, I thought, you know, watching the, the match, I thought, Kurt's going to come out and go, oh, I was proud of both your performances, you're hired, but I don't know where they're going, and... I'm not going to go too much into the, the, the what do you call it, uh, the, the, the mix-up thing, the superstar mix-up. I'm wondering what if they do get hired to Raw, but the mix-up throws them back on SmackDown and Shane and Daniel are like, are you kidding me? <laughs> be quite the only other thing I can think of is Daniel on SmackDown tonight says, I want to be an in-ring competitor now. I'm resigning as general manager. Uh, and if... if if Shane's there, great. If, if Shane's not there, if he's off getting better, Daniel can turn around and go, but I've picked my successor, have it be Jeff Jarrett, 
And then Jeff straight, straight away turned heel. You got Alan Hiring back, Sami Zayn, <laughs> and Kevin Owens. Oh, fair enough. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and then I'd be fine with either Kevin versus Daniel one on one or Sammy Kevin Sammy one on one. Either way, I'm happy. The, the, this is the great thing about Brian being about <clears throat> the possibilities are endless now. Yeah, I think all these people like that he hasn't really faced much. He hasn't faced Rollins. Bala, AJ Styles, AJ Styles oh, Nakamura. Yeah. It hasn't really faced Owens or Zayn in a singles competition at all. You've got all these fucking possibilities. Did, did you see what I shared about the Greatest Royal Rumble? No. Right. Brock has signed another contract. Yes, so he he's staying, And he's defending the Universe title against Roman Reigns in a cage match. In the yes. Uh, I'm also know. pissed off that Larry Reigns was at Raw. <coughs> I felt no, Le- Reigns. I mean Lesnar. Lesnar, sorry, Lesnar wasn't at Raw. Uh, he uh, had a fight with Vince backstage. Did he? Yep. As soon as WrestleMania was over, he was not happy with the crowd reaction, and I think again, the crowd reaction. How's that Lesnar's fault? No, no, Lesnar was oh, right. the crowd reaction, and again, Vince has no control over the reaction. No. but Lesnar knew exactly why. The same reason we knew why. Right. Yeah, yeah. But Vince was livid because I thought I, I, when Reigns started bleeding, I'll admit I didn't really see what happened. And I presumed it was blading. I didn't think it was blading. It was uh, Lesnar's elbows. And Lesnar made that call for himself. I think he was trying... I think his excuse is like, they weren't into it anyway. I was trying to get something to get him into it. And they, uh, it's I a dangerous see, move. Yeah, I can see his point because they were more interested in the beach ball that would seem to be flying yeah. around the stage. Again, that managed to get in. And they were even saying, this is <laughs> awful chance. And... Yeah, I, I suppose Lesnar was desperate. He's like, I've got to get some balls into this match, so what do I do? If you got to get some blood involved. And it did spice it up a little bit. It made Reigns look fucking awesome with the blood pouring down his it, face. But It got his adrenaline going. Yeah, but um, you, you, you shouldn't have made that kind of a call. If he hasn't dangerous. Asked, if he, what what yeah. if you spit it open and you got concussed and passed out? If he then hadn't what you're gonna do? asked Roman, because again, we had no idea what was said in the match, if he'd gone... Do you mind if I cut you open? And Roman yeah, go find a it. moment in a hold to just say... That's Reigns, a match got, decision got, between got, the Yeah, we've got to pull it together. Can you, do you mind if I bust you open? And yeah. if Reigns goes, go for it, let's do yeah. this, but then fine. If you haven't gave Roman a warning, it's like, what are you doing? Stop yeah. being a twat. But the, what I heard it was quite heated to the point... That they said, The reports say during the, the argument, either Lesnar threw the, the universal belt either at Vince or at the wall near Vince. And then it was so weird that hours later the news came out that he'd signed another contract. But it's sounding like now he's going to do dates with both UFC and WWE at the same time. Right. Um, what's interested me? Oh, where was I going with this? Uh, <laughs> we need to kind of move yeah, on to the next well, things. Well, I'll come back to that. It was something to do with um, uh, Lesnar not being there, but I'll, 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 I'll go back to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the next match after the Brian one was Bliss and Nia. Um, it was okay. Okay match, correct ending, correct person one. Because after all that yeah. fat shaming and all that kind of shit, which I think potentially was a bit too fast storyline-wise, I think, anyway, uh, you cannot have Nia Jax lose that after that. You have to have that fairy tale the, ending. She got yeah. it, she deserved it, she deserved it for a few months. What uh, they the should... Samoan drop off the top to, to do it. Oh, great spot. I love that. I think what I would have done is make it more... Make it look more likely that Bliss was going to somehow do it because she attacked Mickey beforehand. Mm-hmm. But I thought I want Mickey to get up near the end and maybe pull the ref out, just to give yeah. that surreal belief that the fans are thinking w- Alexa's going to pull this off. Yeah, somehow. I would have been happy. Yeah, something like that to give you kind of false hope. Yeah, false well, hope. False and hope. then I would have been happy with having it go for an extra couple of minutes. The... Just, it just it was slightly too short and only slightly. Like I said a couple of minutes extra with maybe the spots that you mentioned would have been enough. Yeah, I, uh, the only difference I would have done is she's nothing to do with the, what the standard of the match. I would have swapped the Raw Women's title and the SmackDown Women's around. Yes. Because I think there would have been more of an anticipation buzz when that thing would have come up. Because what was this, like four matches before the end? Yeah. Once the, the graphic would have come up with Charlotte Asuka, we'd be like, right, we're waiting for this. Yeah. And it would have made more sense to put it there considering the, the outcome that yeah. happened. Yeah. Because uh, it would have gave everyone that adrenaline shock of like, did that just happen? And the adrenaline would have kept on for the remainder of the show, I think. So, yeah, but, yeah, nice Seven champ. Much. And I, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Bliss gets a rematch of Backlash, somehow wins, but then Nia has to tap into a, a, an aggressive side we hadn't seen before. The monster that I wanted it to be from the start of literally just tearing everyone apart. So possibly at SummerSlam, you can have. A monstrous Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey. Yeah. 
uh, because there's like, right, is Ronda going to put Nia in her place or is this new Nia going to tear Ronda a new one? That's so, yeah. Um, uh, and then moving on to probably the biggest disappointment of the night, to be honest, uh, and I never, ever thought I'd say that. Um, AJ Styles versus Nakamura for the WWE Championship. They've been touted as a dream match. We all knew it was a dream match because of these guys coming from New Japan, from TNA. They, these two, these two are the best in the business. And just the fact that we have these guys going at it at Mania for the title, the biggest title in the industry. This match left a lot to be desired. It, um, the finish was was cool with the Styles Clash. Yeah, it, uh, the only thing that kind of saved it a bit was the heel turn at the end with Nakamura. That was shocking. Didn't expect that. And I like quite. I liked it because I feel like it might revitalize, revitalize his character. Yeah. Because without him having the championship, it's going to be even a bit stale. So if you turn him heel, boost him a bit. But overall, uh, I was bored. It was I couldn't them, get into it. Again, I, I'm, I'm, I know it always seems like I'm making excuses, but I'm really not. I would have agreed that it was a disappointing match if we hadn't covered the SmackDown tag titles. Because to be honest, that... that <sighs> yeah, I was, okay. Well, okay. If I was going to rank the match... Yes, the SmackDown tag was a disappointment, but we weren't going into that thinking this is going to be... The, yeah, AJ, we weren't yeah. going into it thinking this is going to blow me away. This this needed to be blown. And it wasn't <sighs> like they didn't have time. They were there for about 15, 20 minutes, and that was more than enough to give us what we needed. I, I think the problem was... It was in the wrong place of the card because it's at that point of the card where people are beginning to get fatigued and they need that rest match to get their second wind of energy. And also the fact that as soon as they announced AJ Nakamura, everyone's going to be deflated of going, it is Lesnar Reigns, that's the main event. Great. Um, also not making excuses is, I, I think they should have been given more time. Mm. And that again, again, this is an excuse for now. I don't get why they didn't go strong style. No, they Because that's what people wanted to yeah, see. We didn't, um, we didn't really get much. It was, it was not, when you, if, if I look back at it, oh, I'm going to try and watch the match again and really look at it from a wrestling point of view. And I, I remember one of my mates, I think it was Matt, lent in to me and my brother, said, is this a good match? And me and Zach kind of had that thing of like, I think this is building up to something. Um, I think it's just going to go, they're going to do all these moves and one of them's going to get more impatient and uh, frustrated. Yeah, I was waiting for, like, something big to happen. So, yeah, the back and forth of, like, right, let's just tear it up. And, and it, it just didn't, didn't, it just didn't happen. It didn't happen. We just, we got that Styles Clash and it was over. I honestly thought it was going <laughs> to kick out of that and we were going to go for another five minutes. It just seemed more of a standard match. Yeah. But because... Like, like it was on just a B pay-per-view match. If that... Could, I would have said... I nearly said SummerSlam, but I thought, to be honest, A, overall... As a, for WrestleMania, uh, I don't mean this. Uh, I mean this as nice as I can. It didn't feel like WrestleMania to me. It felt like a really good SummerSlam. Yeah. That's all the card felt to me. Yeah. But with if that standard of match at SummerSlam had happened, I would have gone. Yeah, it was all right, but I still would have been expecting more. Yeah. Now I didn't even think of the Shinsuke heel turn until he got down on one knee to give the belt. And it crossed my mind, just for a split second, like, is he going to low blow him? And then I kind of removed it out of my mind for a minute, and then it happened. I was like, okay, that's cool. I like that. Uh, and I, I'm not regretting anything they did. I'm intrigued to what's going to happen on SmackDown tonight. But I think I would have rather seen Asuka do that. I'm like, the, I can't believe that after all this streak and getting to the pinnacle of Mania, she fucks it up there. And mm. just, I'd rather she'd gone, congratulations, Charlotte hugged her, and then just tore her a new one. Um, yeah. But I, I, another thing I want to say for Nakamura, the entrance was fucking awesome. Having the... The Alice Cooper's uh, yeah, oh, that was cool. She fucking ripped it up, man. Yeah. That was epic. Yeah. Epic intro. I'm wondering... I'm more intrigued now, because obviously, round about January time, uh, they always go, here's a W24 documentary for last year's WrestleMania, just to get in the mood. So we're going to have to wait a while, but there will be a WWE 24 for WrestleMania 34. I'm wondering what AJ and Shinsuke's reactions were after the match. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to be both behind her curtain going, we that. dropped the ball there. Yeah, we dropped the ball. Uh, or frustrations that they weren't given more time. We don't know what limitations they were given. Yeah, we're, just, um, we're, we're I'm just disappointed, I suppose. I suppose, I suppose one thing I will do, because yeah. I, I nearly watched it before Mania, but I thought I won't. They fought each other at Wrestle Kingdom three years ago 
I might watch that or well, that match and see if it was better. Mm. So, so yeah, uh, yeah, smooth better speed. Up. Oh, the raw tag. The raw tag. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> right. oh, this was ridiculous. If if anybody came up to me and said, "Are you? Oh, you're a wrestling fan? I'll show you something." There's no way on God's green fucking earth am I showing them this match from start to finish. I mean, what the fuck did they sign the, off on? What point did they get to and go, we're going to go with this? It just, Mental. The build that they had to go in... Who's going to be the tag yeah. partner? Is it going to be Joe, a turn? Cass, Big Show. Is, is it going to be... Bro- Ellsworth. Or is it, is it going to be brought by himself? Oh, brought by himself. It. Yeah, I mean, or Ray. There was another thing. So many possibilities. And to be honest... Anyone under them would yeah. have been better. Even fucking Ellsworth would have been better at this Big point. Big Show would have been fine. Yeah, I, but, I, I just... Well, I didn't get the spot I wanted. Didn't get the swing. No. Um, the, right. When it was got happening, I had the same reaction of everybody else was just sitting there with like, a disgruntled face like, is this happening? Because... I thought it was just going to be a swerve and then eventually you go, I'm only kidding. Sit back down, well, kid. This is my partner. I thought that was going to happen. I, I remember, I think I said it on the way back to the hotel. It... Seemed very to me the fact that they went for a kid. The first thing that came to my head was like, okay, that's you're going to do this. Was he's got to be a Make a Wish Foundation kid? And that's what everyone thought. Yeah, so probably a bucket list. Because I'll admit myself, if I had I was a Make a Wish kid on my bucket list, I'd either want to put Hall of Famer or I want my wrestling. That's amazing moment for the kid. Don't but, worry, he'll never ever forget that. It's an amazing moment for the kid. He don't do it at WrestleMania though. Right. He uh, found out he's the son of one of the referees. Yes. Now, again. He could, just because he's son of a referee doesn't mean he might not be ill. But, uh, it, A, if he is, great moment for the kid, but it's a huge knock to the Royal Tag Titles and the storyline development and Braun's character. Yeah, and it's also disrespectful to the bar, it's also disrespectful to any... To the ta- fans more than anything else. And also any of the tag uh, division that haven't had a championship yet that fucking deserve one. It, it's, it's a dream for a kid, but there's oh, got to be... It's, there's got to be a, a point to say no. We yeah, can't it's do that. laughable. It's it's such, and he was terrified on that. You can see him; he just looked fucking terrified yeah. the entire time. What I wanted because uh, I found it peculiar that Braun didn't wrestle once last night, and they obviously just vacated the belt. So now we got yeah, uh, they vacated the belt on Raw, and that was just like, so that makes it even more pointless. He, he delivered his line all right. Oh, the when kid. I'm back, I'm gonna you're gonna get these hands. But it just was like, well, now you just made the whole thing pointless. Now we got a tournament. Uh, at first, I thought, okay, do the tournament because I would. I thought Seamus might have gone away to get his surgery, but it turns out he's probably sticking around for a little while, a while longer. What I would have loved to happen is um, Kurt have gone right, Strowman and Nicholas. You're defending the Raw Tag Title tonight. Uh, I've got a call off Vince McMahon. He says he's got two opponents in mind, but I don't know who they are yet. If Kevin and Sammy came out, <laughs> yeah, but. Somehow, like, again, from the crowd, just annihilated Braun with chairs, just completely took out the equation to be left in the ring with Nicholas. But because people would have been like, oh my god, are they gonna like power bomb this little kid or a Luva kick? But B bullies and demand he lay down, like scare him and then pin him and then get the belts and run before Braun gets him. I would have been like, how heal are they now? Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, I'd have preferred that, but no, yeah, they, they went with the whole no, we just gave kid a WrestleMania moment. It's like, well. Pointless. Way to just kind Waste of... of time. It, it was ridiculous. It, it was lovely. I tried to be happy for the kid and get into the moment for the kid, but it just deflated the entire arena and everyone in the room. Yeah. Uh, and it, it just seemed stupid. Yeah. A main event time. Main, main event. Kind main of event. Of, yeah, Ronnie kind of spoke about what's happened in this anyway. So it's Lesnar and Mr. Reigns, Universal title. Um, um, right, I'm guessing if you're listening to this right now, you're a wrestling fan. So... If you've got Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar match in your head, I guarantee everything you think would happen in that match happened apart from the end. Yeah, exactly. We all thought and knew this is Reigns' moment. It's going to happen. Vince's little boy. I did call it, didn't I? I, Yeah, you did. (laughs) I I was so convinced that they're going to do this with Reigns because... And they didn't. And it was definitely a shock and the whole busting open thing and it took... Five F5s. I mean, for fuck's sake, yeah. Vince. If he kicked out a one, I could have just about got past that. Yeah. But 
five. That is mental. Got, that is no one's ever kicked out that many F five. I got annoyed at three because yeah. as soon as he kicked out at three, I was like, right, Taker's streak died at three F five. Do you really tell me Roman's better than Taker yeah. at WrestleMania? Right. Fuck yeah. up. Yeah. No. no, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Lesnar did put him away, and it was a massive shock. I, um, however, I'm kind of annoyed a bit. Not on. But <sighs> because they think they're going to keep it going with the rivalry. That's n- not necessarily the rivalry. I think they're still going to keep going with this whole Reigns is going to be the champ at Mania at some point. So whether but it be has. with them taking it from no, no, but they're trying to ignore that, aren't they? Because no, they're saying no. that they're trying to do it with the Universal thing, and this is the reason why I wanted Reigns to win last night. Because like we can have Vince have his little fairy tale moment with his new little project and then we can move on with our lives yeah. now we know that this isn't, hasn't happened it's probably going to happen at Mania next year they'll probably keep it under wraps better this time so we don't think what's going to happen but I guarantee you if he isn't ready for the main event before the last pay-per-view before Mania next year they he'll be can't. doing it again they I bet do... you they will I bet you maybe, they will maybe Reigns will be in the universe title pitch uh, but he it, can't it, fight Lesnar again man. it might not be Lesnar can't. it might not be Lesnar but I'll re- guarantee yeah, you it, it, and if they do it like the Shield triple threat if it's Re- if it's Reigns Rollins Ambrose for the Universal I'm so down with that but I guarantee you that Reigns is fucking winning it if Reigns is this heel this is the thing that's annoying me if Reigns is heel it will work it will yeah, work yeah I suppose Reigns but it's just it is kind of like, okay, people will be, it will still be a little bit like, okay, Reigns has won, but I think they'll be more forgiving if he's heel. Especially if, like, he joins Hayman Hay- Hay- But Hay- there's no way, in ha- I mean, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't see Vince having a heel win to close main era. I know he did it with Lesnar last the other night, the, but I think... Did he really have a, it was a heel, but he, I think he knew was, he was, it was the lesser of the two even. Cause, exactly. Uh, the reason I called Lesnar winning uh, f- uh, a couple of months before it happened was because more so than ever the last few months they've really gone the social media embracing way. Like the fact that they changed, Kevin, they took Kevin and Sammy and put on the alumni in WWE.com and changed their Twitters and they didn't even have a WrestleMania access because they're like, well, they're not employed. They really embraced and that. And then part. they were doing the same thing with the UFC, weren't they? Saying, oh, yeah. you're definitely going back. Dana White said so. That, that's the genius of it because it's like, right, for all we know, verbally, Roman um, Lesnar could have said, "No, nah, I'll stick around after Mania," and what well, they could have gone. But to be smart, will make it seem like you're just leaving after your contract runs out. So don't sign until after the match. That's what got people going. Well, Reigns is winning, and also I thought, I think I said with you that there's always the shock we are hoping for. Hence, 32 Shane coming off the cell, mm-hmm. and then they always were this was one we didn't expect, and this one we probably got a lot more than we. Than we expected with Shinsuke turning heel, Astro Street ended, and Roman lost. And I, that's the only thing I'm taking from that match of like, Roman, Roman lost. lost. Yeah. Excellent. Clean as well. Yeah. Um, but again, he got his ass whipped. He got his ass whipped, but five F5s, I'm still fucking reeling from that. He, five. And it helped Joe it, it feed, feed Joe's promo. Yeah, we had, because yeah, yeah, Joe's promo was fucking awesome overall. But Roman came out with all the. He looked like shit. He had the big bump on his head. Yeah, the stitches. Yeah, and Joe just coming out and goes, You've claimed for a year you're the only man that can do it, but it will always end the same way. When it comes to you and Lesnar, you will drop the ball. The only thing which I, I'm guessing confirmed that lesson is not a backlash. He goes after um, you have your cage match with him at the Great Royal Rumble. I'll be waiting for you at backlash. So it looks like it's going to be Joe Reigns at backlash. But the rumor is Reigns might win at the Saudi Arabia Great Royal Rumble, which wouldn't surprise me because the fact that they've been promoting it so much and it's going to be on the network means they're really trying... It's similar to what they did with AJ when the title over here in the UK. Yeah, yeah, It's like, here, we gave UK a moment, let's give Saudi Ray a moment, maybe we'll get more fans over there. Because it, the card looks stacked for that. Mm. They've got the 50-man Royal Rumble, the four, four-way four Intercontinental uh, Ladder match, they'll have the tag final, which I'm guessing will be the Bar versus the Wyatts, and Cena Triple H, and now this cage match. So, uh... <sighs> I'm still intrigued at where they're going to go. Yeah. But as Mania as a whole, I it mean, wasn't I, the greatest WrestleMania. No, it wasn't. I think last year was better. I think maybe the year before, but ten years in better as well. Um, uh, this, yeah. It was so a weird Mania. It was crazy. Because yeah. of all these uh, silly decisions and random things and stuff I didn't expect in good ways and bad. I just... I am all over the place with this Mania. It's just... I don't know what I to make of it. I think it's because... When you look at the card on paper, 
it had the potential to be the best. Yeah, of like, I said to someone, this could potentially either uh, level or beat WrestleMania 17. Because to this day, I don't think it's seen a better WrestleMania than WrestleMania 17. Yeah, and uh, as great as that is for, for WrestleMania 17, you need to always try and surpass each year's WrestleMania. And the fact they haven't done that in, what, well, since 2001. Yeah. It's concerning. The PG era don't help. No. But you've got to give, make the right storyline right decisions and give the right time limits yeah. to each match. I, 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 we always know that Mania is always the payoff pay yeah. view. And I just feel like we didn't get a lot of payoff in this set, this one. Yeah. We just got a lot of shocking moments and a lot of wrong decisions. After TakeOver, I got so many messages saying, well, I think we've just had Mania. Yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah the, the, the WrestleMania was of the weekend Take was TakeOver. Take over. Uh, it really was. Because that, that's a concern. Of, it wouldn't surprise me if maybe even at this moment Triple H and Vince have an argument because with what we saw at TakeOver, it wouldn't surprise me if Vince wants Ricochet to debut tonight on SmackDown. But I think Triple H would not hold on to him with two not hands and go, no, not yet. Yeah, We've got to keep Ricochet here. Because the problem is great with people coming in but they you lose people, people the so it's yeah, like we need to fill yeah, which is wait. the only other reason thing is the sanity might not be there because I think now that authors of pain are gone and uh, sanity has gone as well yeah they need sanity to keep the tag division strong in NXT yeah. for a while and the only two people I can see stepping up to Shane Baszler uh, at the minute in over in NXT is if someone from the May Young Classic comes up that that, that Bianca Blair who okay. used her hair yeah. and was a whip I think she Bring could go. Yeah. Or Kyrie Sane. Yes. Because Kyrie Sane's amazing. Yeah, she is. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so overall, Mania, up and down all freaking night. If, right, if if I was going to give WrestleMania 33 out of a five-star rating, I'd go four, four and a half. This uh, year, maybe three. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm going for a three. Three rating, yeah. I'm going for a three. So, Which is not, really, considering it's Mania, is not acceptable. No. It, WrestleMania every year should be five star. Yeah, that's the point of it. Yeah, so totally agree. Yeah. So anyway, sorry that it took so long. Well, you know, this is probably the longest one, fitting considering it's the last. But um, I mean, it was but two questions, and oh, they're sorry, literally yeah. from two friends because I didn't get anything in time, and they're both wrestling based. We're very uh, busy people. Yeah, so we will get these questions done as quickly as possible. This may be the last <laughs> time you hit. Probably is the last time you yeah. hear this one. Yeah, so. yeah we'll see. Right. Three, two, one. Questions, questions. Questions for Josh. Yeah. That so, was as bland as WrestleMania was. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sarah's question, this is my missus, her question to you mm-hmm. was, dream match. If you could pick any dream match with any stipulation at any pay-per-view, alive or dead, no matter who, who would you pick, where would it be, what stipulation would be added, and how long would the match be? Your absolute perfect match. Try, try and make it quick, because uh, yeah, okay. we're running out of time. Um, and, oh, God, this is such a difficult one to pick. Um, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't say The Undertaker. So, the... <laughs> remiss? What? Sorry. Um, but this this just in, okay. Sticks has also sent another question. So, we'll, uh, let me oh, finish okay, this one, okay, and then okay. we'll go with this after I've done, because Matt's got one as well. So. Uh, okay, okay. I think I'll go with the... Okay, uh, I, I, I've surprised myself here, but I'm going to go for it. I would be completely fine with just seeing The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels go for it one more time. Just a regular match? Yeah, but I don't think they need a stipulation. They've proved that. To this day, True. Shawn Michaels' take at WrestleMania 25 is the greatest wrestling match I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, yeah, I, I just want to see Simple. them go. How more. long would it go? Um... Uh, yeah, a, de- a decent amount, maybe 25 minutes. And but it'd be mania, the, the only difference I'd have is, again, as good as WrestleMania 25 was, if you had both Sean and Taker in their prime before Sean's back injury, before Taker's all his surgery and broken bones, just imagine what they could have done. Yeah, they would true. have torn the place up. Yeah, that's true. Um, cool. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. that's fair enough. Quite and simple. Okay, so Matt's question was, um, views on Vince and the NX... Uh, XFL, good or bad thing, would it affect WWE in better or worse? I forgot how you did the XFL thing. Um, Make a choice, because I want to get yeah, to this. I don't think one. it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> no! And no, no, because no, no, no. It, it didn't work the first time. It's not going to work this time. The only hope I've got is that 
he hands over the reins to Triple H when he tries to do XFL, and so he, he retires to do XFL, doesn't work, and he just goes, all right, I'm, I'm done, and stays away. Cause I'm, yeah. And Triple H will not, I don't think he'll drop the ball when he's in charge. Yeah, he's that, proven that with the, NXT yeah, that's the only thing that's going to be good for it, is if, if Vince gives his full attention to XFL, we've got Triple I'm H. I'm always going to have respect for Vince because he created this thing. But he's now out of touch. It, he needs to go. Yeah. His job is done. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, so yeah, this chimed in halfway through our uh, question thing. Uh, our, my friend uh, Adam, our friend Adam, or Sticks. Oh, oh, we'll see if he's my friend after this. <laughs> this isn't wrestling based, but uh, <laughs> I think he's pretty good. Um, he said, oh, I, I, "I hope we put this in if it's not too late." It's not too late. We got it <laughs> just in time. Okay. Um, um. Please describe in great detail how you lost your virginity and who it was with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. All right. Um, so this is it. It's the final flourish for Admiral Chatbar before he moved yeah, into just yeah. wrestling. S- Sticks wants to answer. Right. Okay. What, what was Andy with it again? So you please describe in great detail how you lost your virginity and who it was with. Okay. <clears throat> no. <laughs> that about wraps it up. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. no. Fucking. They, they have no business to find out. That's my answer. No. Oh, fine. Fat bird in Glasgow. Called? Uh, Flora, if ne- I remember. Ne- yeah, named after a fat product. We, we, but but fat, a fatty product. I don't think she was actually named after it. I don't think it was... I've like, decided she was. She, I, go, I tell you what, love, she looks like a stick of butter. Let's call her Flora. <laughs> spread them. Yeah. Well, you spread it, I put my stalk in, we'll do the best of both worlds. As, I can't really, I can't, I honestly can't go into detail because... You can't remember it. No, it's so long ago. <laughs> I just remember junk, court, uh, not courthouse, cat house in Glasgow, mayor outside the club at the end of the night, came out to my hotel room, and what happened, happened. I can't even remember the deed that well, so... The deed. The deed itself. Uh, but I've got a free lift to the airport. So, <laughs> it's all about saving money for you, is, isn't it? Is. <laughs> so... Uh, Fuck you now. I, I don't. Never change. I, Never change. It, it proves that Sticks' sex life must be very dull if he wants to know about mine. Uh, I think he likes to know about yours quite a lot. Yeah, I think he's got a thing for you. Yeah, I think he wants you. I think it's the only thing that turns him on nowadays. Yeah, I think the only thing that gets a stalk on for yeah. him is seeing your naked, heroin based body. Well, he's not satisfied with his girlfriend's cooking, so. Oh! There we go. Oh, that's a burn. She won't listen to this. That's a burn. <laughs> right. Okay, we've got to go. <laughs> It's late and I have work for the first time in two yeah. weeks tomorrow. So. Right, so yeah, this is the end of Admiral Chat Bar. We'll be moving on to the Angle Slam, Slam after this. It's going to be specifically wrestling. It's been a lot of fun um, and hopefully I'll be revitalising my channel as a whole. This is one of the steps. Yeah. We've, like, had, a, we've had a lot of fun doing this. We're going to continue with wrestling. Yeah, we're not saying goodbye. We just, I do just, a sting line. We're just reformatting. Yeah, I'll do the sting line. We're not saying goodbye. It's just see you later. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Cool. Later.